everyone, and welcome to DMLC 2020. I hope you are enjoying the conference so far. Uh, my name is Andrew Nash, and I am excited to introduce Julia Hurley from The Ohio State University Buckeye Thon. She will be presenting today about team captains, and her presentation is titled Fostering a Successful Team Captain Program. If you have any questions during the presentation, you can jot those down and submit your questions on Discord. You can message Julia directly or hop in the channel um, or the Discord server um, about creating meaningful partnerships. And that's where you can start conversation about this presentation. So Julia, I'll turn it over to you. Feel free to take it away. Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in to Buckeyethon's Fostering a Successful Team Captain Program presentation. Um, this presentation will walk you through Buckeyethon's Team Captain Program and hopefully provide you with some information on how you can grow your own successful Team Captain Program. Um, again, my name is Julia Hurley and I'm Buckeyethon's Director of Team Relations. I'm a rising senior at Ohio State and I've been involved in Buckeyethon since my freshman year. Um, I've also listed my email here, so if you wanted to reach out that way with any questions you have, please feel free. Um, here's an overview of what we'll cover today. We'll start um, with some basics, including important definitions and the structure of Buckeyethon's Team Relation Committee, and then we'll move into talking specifically about the Team Captain Program, including responsibilities, our Executive Team Captain Program, and communication. Um, we'll then touch on team captain recruitment and selection and finish with a conversation on data tracking and growth and future plans for our program. We'll start with some um, important definitions. The first is general body. Um, Buckeyethon's general body plans and executes all Buckeyethon events and initiatives throughout the year. General body members serve on one of Buckeyethon's committees year round and they each hold a specific position on that committee. So team relations is one of Buckeyethon's 13 committees. Um, next is team captain. So team captains serve as a liaison between their team and general body. They lead their team's fundraising, recruitment and efforts um, among other things that we'll talk about later on. Um, team members are dancers, they register to join Buckeyethon with the team, and they commit to fundraising at least $250 for Nationwide Children's Hospital in order to attend our dance marathon. A team is a group of team members led by their team captain. Um, student organizations, Greek life chapters, residence halls, and scholars programs at Ohio State can all form their own Buckeyethon team. And then finally, all of our teams are split between four demographics, and those are residence halls slash scholars programs, Greek life, large student orgs, and small student orgs. Um, to understand our team captain program, you have to understand a little bit about the team relations structure. So team relations is one of Buckeyethon's 13 committees. Um, Buckeyethon is divided into five branches, so our Team relations fits under the advancement branch, which is on the far left-hand side of this um, picture. And the team captain program fits under team relations. So our committee is made of the director, um, which is myself, um, a team captain operations coordinator, a team captain development coordinator, and four demographic coordinators. Our operations coordinator is responsible for all communication with our team captains, um, reviewing team captain applications, and maintaining our team captain website. Our development coordinator plans the content for all of our team captain meetings and retreats. Um, they lead those meetings and they also are responsible for team captain stewardship and socials. And then our demographic coordinators are the liaison between team relations and our team captains. Um, so they lead weekly breakout sessions and help our team captains make sure they're accomplishing all of their goals and responsibilities. They keep in the closest contact with each of our individual team captains. Um, now we'll talk specifically about Buckeyethon's team captain program. So team captains are essential to Buckeyethon. Without them, we could not effectively recruit and engage 
with our team members or fundraise the amount that we are able to for a nationwide children's hospital. And team captains are involved in basically every aspect of our organization. So they have a lot of responsibilities. Um, some of those include recruiting team members, tabling during our registration week, volunteering at Buckeithon events, building their leadership skills, um, hosting fundraising workshops and team fundraisers, and then leading their teams at the dance marathon. Um, one thing we really encourage our team captains to do is host fundraising and recruitment events. Team captains are very knowledgeable in regards to fundraising and recruitment, so they're a great resource for their team captains. Um, we work closely with our family relations committee to try and bring um, Buckeye families to as many team captain events as possible. We find that this helps build cost connection among potential team members and or donors. Um, so every team captain has the option to um, ask for a Buckeye Thon family to attend one of their events that they hold. Um, some examples of recruitment events held in the past are pancake breakfasts at residence halls and Greek life chapter walks. And then some common fundraising events team captains hold are raffles, bake sales, um, and dying to donate. So we provide team captains with sample flyers and presentations to use at their events. We are also in the process of creating an easy to follow event planning guide to encourage more team captains to host events, as again, these are really good sources of cost connection. One opportunity that team captains have, in addition to the things we just talked about, is participation in our pen pal program. Um, this is a collaboration between team relations and our family relations committees that was started last year. Um, interested teams are paired with a Buckeye Thon family at the beginning of the year, and team captains are in charge of exchanging letters and videos with the family and sharing those responses with their teams. Um, we find that this helps build a cause connection among team members um, and team captains, and it also gives families and teams a chance to build relationships with each other, which makes interacting in person with each other at events more meaningful and fun for everyone involved. Um, as our team captain program has grown, we've gained many experienced and passionate team captains who are looking for a bigger role within the team captain program. So two years ago, we started our executive team captain program um, to provide those experienced TCs with more responsibility and leadership opportunity. So executive team captains serve as a resource for team captains in their demographic. They help lead weekly breakout sessions. Um, oftentimes our demographic coordinators have not served as team captains before. So executive team captains can provide some really valuable insight that demographic coordinators might not be able to. Um, they also present occasionally during our full group sessions and work with their demographic coordinator to plan socials. Um, this past spring, we also started our mentor program. This was an idea that past ETCs came up with and we're really excited to try and implement this year. Um, in this program, each ETC is paired with a handful of interested team captains within their demographic and they're just there to serve as a mentor and a friend to those team captains. We're hoping that this will encourage friendship, um, build community, and just make everyone feel included within our team captain program. Um, the executive team captain program has really allowed our team captain program to grow um, while still letting us keep in close contact with as many individual team captains as possible. So communication um, is key in building and maintaining a successful team captain program. Team captains keep in constant contact with their teams. The mode of communication is really up to each individual team captain, um, but most use a combination of group chats and group me's, emails, and occasional meetings with their team members. 
We've even had some team captains, like you see on the right, go above and beyond and create a team Instagram page um, to keep people updated. We encourage team captains to update their teams frequently on upcoming Buckeyethon events, um, provide fundraising tips and challenges, and just offer words of encouragement and shout outs to people who are doing a really good job. Um, and while team captains keep in constant contact with their teams, team relations is in constant contact with our team captains. So um, team captains receive weekly emails from our demo, from our operations coordinator. Um, these emails have important announcements, upcoming events, and weekly meeting info. And then at the end of the week after our meetings, they will receive a week a recap email from their demographic coordinator. And this has a recap of meeting info and any action items that need to be completed in the coming weeks. We also have weekly meetings, which we'll talk about on the next slide. Um, and then for quick announcements, promoting team captain events, and just keeping in contact with each other and staying excited, we have team captain group me's um, for all team captains and then for each individual demographic. And then if that's not enough communication, um, team captains can always schedule a one-on-one -on -one meeting with anyone in the team relations committee if they choose to do so. So speaking of meetings, um, weekly meetings are a huge part of our program. Um, we hold meetings on Wednesday and Thursday nights. Team captains choose the day that works best for them to attend. Um, attendance is taken and tracked at all of our meetings to encourage team captains to come and so that we can look at how meeting attendance affects a team's overall performance. Um, generally, we find that the team captains that attend meetings regularly have the most um, successful fundraising overall. Um, so our meetings are split into two parts. The first half is a full group session led by our um, development coordinator. We start with inspiration and then a heart to heart where a team captain shares with the group why they're for the kids. Um, we then go into any upcoming events or announcements and finish with some recruitment or fundraising tips and challenges. The second half is dedicated to demographic breakout sessions. So these are led by demographic liaisons and our ETCs. Um, often we try to make them workshop based. The content of the session varies throughout the year. Um, if we're near registration week, we might focus on setting recruitment goals. But if we're, we are closer to the dance marathon, we might um, focus on creating fundraising workshops for teams. Um, breakouts are really a chance for team captains to share ideas and problem solve with each other and also build relationships. So now that we've talked about the structure of the team captain program, you may be wondering how we actually recruit all of our team captains. Um, we begin recruiting in February, right after our dance marathon. We st always start by reaching out to people recommended by former team captains. Former team captains are a great resource because they can, they know their team the best and they can often pick out people who are passionate and ready to take on a leadership role in Buckeyethon. Um, after the dance marathon, we post our team captain application on all Buckeyethon social media and on our website. Um, we encourage all of our general body members and team captains to share that application with their friends and on their own social media pages to try to promote it as much as possible. Um, once the application is launched, we also send a mass email to all of our registered Buckeye Thumb participants, um, inviting them to apply also. Um, we've also found that reaching out directly, usually via email, to Greek Life and student org presidents is another good way to recruit team captains. Um, we sent an email a few weeks ago to all the Greek Life presidents on campus and within a few days had team captains for most of our Greek Life teams. And then finally, um, we also work closely with Residence Life at Ohio State to advertise 
um, our application in residence halls, um, usually via like building wide emails or flyers on residence hall floors. Um, after we recruit team captains, we go through a selections process. So we select two to three team captains per team. Um, in January, the incoming team relations committee finalizes the team captain application and the interview questions. And we also have all of our current team captains indicate if they'll be returning for the following year. So we always let um, returning team captains choose the team that they want to lead. Most stick with the same team, but some like residence hall team captains might switch from year to year. Um, in February, we released the team captain application after the dance marathon. And then in March and April, team relations conducts group interviews um, for all, all and sends out acceptances after the interviews are finished. And then in the summer and fall, we focus on finding team captains for teams that don't have one yet. Um, and we accept those applications on a rolling basis. Um, the earlier we can get team captains, the better because we they get to chan the chance to know Buckeye Thon and are more successful um, once the year actually starts in the fall. Um, we're not at the point where we, our selections process is not super selective yet, but we are getting there. Um, we've noticed from year to year, we often have more than two to three people apply per team. So we do have to um, turn away some of those people, but we always offer them to serve on a team that doesn't yet have a captain. To track the success of our team captain program, we work with our assessment committee to gather all different kinds of data. Um, each team captain has access to an Excel sheet with all of their team's fundraising data. That includes the team total, individual fundraising total, um, team member averages, and then the amount of their team members that have reached certain milestones, like reaching that 250 to go to the DM. And while team captains are tracking their own team success, team relations is looking at how many team captains are returning each year, how many teams are returning each year, um, and making sure that we're helping team captains to exceed the recruitment and fundraising goals that they set for themselves. Um, so overall, Buckeye Thon's team captain program continues to succeed and grow from year to year. Since its beginning in 2015, we've grown from less than 100 team captains to nearly 300 um, as of this previous year. Um, and as discussed earlier, we also added our executive team captain program two years ago um, to provide more leadership opportunity and responsibility for our experienced team captains. Um, that program is growing. We now have a more selective application process and have two to three ETCs per demographic, whereas before we might have only had one. Um, Buckeithon's ultimate goal is to create a self-run and self-sustaining team captain program. Doing so will allow the team relations committee to really focus their efforts and initiatives on expanding to new parts of campus and supporting and building relationships with potential teams, um, among other things. So here are the key takeaways from this presentation. Um, I hope you've gained a good understanding of how Buckeye Thon's team captain program is structured, how we involve team captains in our organization, how we recruit and select team captains, and then how we utilize data tracking within our team captain program. Um, and then to finish off, I'll just go through a couple frequently asked questions. So the first is how can I get started with something small similar to this on my campus? Um, I think a good way to start small would be just to assign a point person on each team or group that participates in your dance marathon to serve as a team captain. You could start with a handful of meetings for those individuals throughout the year um, and maybe just focus on sending them like extra fundraising tips and challenges to share with their own teams. Um, 
The second question is how do you motivate students to want to be a team captain? Um, stewardship is a key motivator for us. Um, we work really hard to try to steward our team captains throughout the year um, to make sure they know how important they are to us. So we try to plan socials. Um, we host an end of the year banquet and give team captains a gift. Um, we also try to incorporate appreciation activities into our meetings um, and also show our appreciation at the dance marathon for them. And then finally, um, any tips on making this successful in a virtual environment? The great thing about our meetings is they can easily be conducted like via Zoom. We can even have our breakout sessions in them. Um, we've also just really been focusing on trying to keep in frequent contact via email and group me with individual team captains. Um, and aside from checking in on Buckeithon related things, we've also been focusing on just making sure they feel supported by us um, during these kind of crazy times. So, um, thank you for listening to this presentation. I hope you've gained some information and can use it to create and grow your own successful team captain program. Julia, thank you for your time and energy putting this presentation together and uh, to all of our audience viewing at home, I hope this was beneficial for all of you. As a reminder, if you have any questions for Julia about the Buckeye Thon Team Captain Program or anything that was mentioned in this presentation, you can reach out to her on Discord or start a conversation in our channel called Creating Meaningful Partnerships. But for now, enjoy the rest of your day and we'll see you at your next session. Thank you everyone.